What's up, everybody? It's a boy meme here. I'm drinking some cold brew coffee. Very tasty. Homemade, too. You know, I was asking my dad, uh, the way we brew cold brew coffee, how much better is it than the way, the, the easiest way that it is to make cold brew coffee? It's like, this is the easiest way to make cold brew coffee, and it's like the only way to make cold brew coffee. And, uh, well, like, basically one of the only ways. And uh, I find that crazy because it takes, like, basically, like, a day and a half because you have to... I'm not entirely sure how it works because he kind of does it. But you have this big old white thing. It kind of looks like a pot. And then you get a bunch of coffee and you put it into this thing, into this paper thing, and then you kind of just let it drip for, like, a day and a half into this glass thing. And then the glass thing is actually coffee concentrate. So when you pour it into something, like, here, unless um, you just want to be, like... What if you're like you're on cocaine or something? You have to actually put some water in here. Uh, yeah, you have to put like some coffee, and then like a decent amount of water, and then you put your cream or whatever. Uh, and so that turns into coffee concentrate, and then yeah, you put your water in there. Uh, which is actually kind of crazy. I didn't know that cold brew coffee took that long, so I asked him, like, what if you just get your coffee like from the machine or something, and they just put it in the fridge? He was like, well, uh, then it would be watered down coffee, and if you do it like through the cold brew method uh then if when you put water into the coffee since it's coffee concentrate instead of making it taste like watered down coffee it just makes it taste like like less coffee if that makes sense um so like a way that i would think about it at least that's a bad example never mind uh but yeah i, I found that pretty interesting for breakfast i had an english muffin with butter and oatmeal and tea. It was very tasty. Uh, for lunch, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna have. Um, but this is gonna be tasty, I'm sure. Uh, I might have tamales or something. For dinner, I don't know what we're gonna have. My, my mom even asked me, she doesn't know what we're gonna have for dinner. We're probably gonna have quesadillas or something. Uh, normally we just like, so I'm gonna if we don't have a plan for the week, we just gotta think something up before it happens. Um, you know, something nice I like about salad, the mining platform, is how, like, a crazy amount of times, it's like, hey, um, here's times two earning speed, because we reached this, like, super easy to reach goal on, like, the community discord. And it's so nice, because basically, like, one-fourth the time you're using salad, I'm sorry, like, one-fourth the time you're mining, you're basically on times two mining speed, and so that's always nice, that's always really awesome. And it's cool, it's too, because it's, like, free money. Uh, you know, um, and it's especially crazy because, uh, I don't know what I was going to say. That's a bird outside, I don't know what that is. trying to think about something to say. My dad's in a meeting and uh, my mom is at the doctor right now. For nothing, nothing serious, don't worry, it's like a chat. So uh, there's nothing to talk about. So normally I stop before like, I don't know, a loud part on the TV happens, but uh, since there's no loud part on the TV, I could just sit and think about what I want to say. So uh, I might pause this for a minute and think about what I want to say. I've decided I want to talk about Minecraft servers. Uh, so basically, right, right now, uh, I don't want to say this, and I'm happy this YouTube channel wasn't very popular between my friends. Uh, but right now, my Minecraft server is kind of dead, right? And, uh, you know, I don't think that's a super bad thing. Uh, genuinely, this sounds like hope, but it's happened before. The player base really ups and flows. Sometimes it's like zero people for like four months, and then it's like 11 people for like six months. So uh, we're just in downtime right now, and we've been in downtime for like three months now. Uh, so I think relatively soon uh it's gonna get back up but who knows it's gonna get back up eventually right the amount of players at once but um you know i've been thinking about this and i think um a really easy short-term way to get players up is to reset the map don't worry i'm not going to do this uh so the i i think the thing about resetting the map and i think the reason why a lot of servers reset the map every six months or every year it's my dad back there um is because it's like, oh, uh, 
reset the map every few months is because the most fun part about Minecraft is like the first six months of playing it. Uh, you know, once everything, once you have everything done and you have all the farms done and everything, uh, the game is kind of moot. Like you're just building, and unless you really like building or you really like mining, which seems like a really fun thing to do in 1.18 at least, um, there's basically no reason to play the game. And so uh, the only reason for long-term no map reset players to start playing the game is if they move to a separate make a new base and then they start making all those farms again and that's already happened once with nesquik uh, one of the clans on the server um they used to be nesquik one they stopped playing for a bit then it went to nesquik two uh and they basically just remade everything and they also made everything um more efficiently because with nesquik one uh it was kind of they didn't have a plan and so it didn't build very well uh, it wasn't very pretty looking and nesquik two it sounds if it's especially more pretty looking, but it's definitely, um, you can definitely tell that they know what they're doing when they're building it, if that makes any sense. And, uh, so basically, right, the plan right now, um, okay, so, ignoring all that, right, uh, this is the first statement of the first, this is the main statement of the first part. Um, the main reason why Minecraft servers reset the map is because the most fun part of Minecraft is getting everything going. And then once you've got everything going and everything's working, the player base stops going, you reset the map and then everybody starts playing again to get everything going again. Um, and you know, at least that's why I think resetting the map could be important in a Minecraft server's life. Uh, however, that's a very short term, that's a very short term goal uh, because you're only gonna attract the players who really like the first bit, who really like, uh, early game Minecraft and not late game Minecraft, which is basically just multiplayer fun, right? Um, so, I think that, so yeah, that's my first statement of the first part. Now, we're on to the second part, okay? So the second part is going to be me talking about the pros of running a no reset Minecraft server, which is what I run. Uh, now, you always hear me talk about this Minecraft server on my channel is only regulars who aren't buddies with me in real life. Uh, and I just want to assure you guys that um, the server is not big. Altogether, in the past, um, I think a year and a half I've been running it, there have been 85 unique players. And right now, there are zero players online and nobody's logged on for like three days. So it's not a very big server. It used to be quite large within my friend group. Uh, but I also think that nobody's really playing Minecraft right now. Um, so anyways. Uh, yeah, I feel like the pros of running a long, uh, no reset map Minecraft server is that if the server is around for long enough, if the server is around for like 10 years, then that's the attraction of the server. You go on the server, you're at spawn, and you're like, wow, these blocks are 10 years old. And then that's basically the whole novelty of the server. And, uh, you know, I feel like, wow, that can be very one note. It will be very cool in a 10 years, if the server's around for 10 years, to log on and be like, wow, I do have to go out to like 1 million ex exposition to, uh, to get to new chunks. However, all the stuff here, very cool, very old. And uh, I think that's one of the perks of being a no reset server. Another one of the perks is that it really facilitates massive builds. Now, if a server uh, resets every six months, you could definitely get a big build up in six months. However, having the server be around forever and have it be no reset really implies that bigger builds can be achieved and that it's not going to go to nothing. So uh, for example, one of the bigger builds is this big floating island with this actual full cast wall now. And uh, to be honest, I'm not entirely sure if it was built by hand. I have a theory it was used, it was built with baritone, but I can't prove that. So uh, yeah, there's a big old floating castle, right? And uh, you know, that's one of the biggest builds on the server. Another big build, which is at the same base, and that's quick too, because they're uh, they're crazy people over there. I don't know, they just they just love uh, making everything big. Uh, no offense to that's quick two people. You're good friends. Um, they have this massive pyramid, this absurdly large pyramid, and I think it's the biggest building on the server. Uh, and you're in it, and uh, it's so large to where if you're on like a smaller render distance, you couldn't see the other sides of the pyramid. And it's insane. They have like some marketplaces in there, it's interesting. And uh, you know, I think in my opinion, they could definitely do some more on the inside of the pyramid. I think it would be cool if they try to make an entire base on the inside of the pyramid and you never have to exit the pyramid. 
Uh, of course, that would be no fun, and you don't have to be in there all the time, but I think that would be cool, in my opinion, just to have a fully self-sufficient system inside this big building. Uh, like a superstructure, except uh, no fun, because it's a video game. But anyways, yeah. So, final statement. If you reset the server, if you reset the map, um, oh, you attract a lot of people who like short-term goals and like doing the first bit of the game. If you don't reset the map, you get a lot of people who love doing long-term goals. And also, in like 10 years time, it'll be a really big net benefit because a big attraction of your server is that a lot of stuff is going to be really old. So yeah, that's, that's my main thesis, I suppose. Alright, uh, see ya dude.